the first generation BMW M3. The E30 model starts the history of the legendary sports car and the most successful touring car ever. The board of management once again wanted to see a series production car on the racetrack. In accordance to the organization rules at the time, a series car must be like the future race car in most parts. That meant for us we had to develop a race car that had to be built in the series production process. On the other hand, a lot of features that are important in everyday use, like the comfort or the braking system with ABS, had to be integrated. Here we had, for the first time, a compromise between a race car and a normal road car. That was a revolution amongst sports cars. Depending on the model, the first M3 brings between 195 and 238 horsepower to the road. Compared to the regular 3 Series, this car had more power, but also numerous other changes. The M3 had a much stiffer chassis. We achieved this for the first time through the gluing of the front and the rear window. The front axle was a completely new construction with more caster, a differently structured stabilizer and an increase in direct steering. We gained an improved responsiveness, a better feedback, the steering and a much more directional stability by high velocities. The power source of the first generation M3 is a 2.3 liter engine with four cylinders. The engine has everything a racing motor needs. Two overhead camshafts, four valves and a specially shaped combustion chamber with a central position of the spark plug. Very important for high performance. The M3 of the first generation claimed more than 1500 victories and is unbeaten to this day as a touring car. The success of the E30 M3 was phenomenal. It was not only the performance of the car, it was also the strategy. We sold the so-called kit. That meant everyone could get such a vehicle kit and race competitively. New standards were also set in lightweight construction. The base model of the sports car weighs only 1200 kilograms. The aerodynamic finishing can be seen amongst others with the big front spoiler, the side sills, and the rear wing. To gain the motorsport homologation, we had to build 5,000 vehicles within 12 months. Our sales department was skeptical at first. After all, the M3 was one and a half times more expensive as the strongest regular E30, the 325i. But people liked it. The sales figures were considerably higher than we expected. Almost 18,000 vehicles rolled off the assembly line. In 1989, the first generation M3 was also available as a convertible. Moreover, BMW brought two Evolution Special Editions onto the market with even more power and dynamics. To see this very successful race car on the streets is really fantastic. This car is a legend. The following generations were always based on the series vehicle. With the E30, this was different. Only the spirit of how to develop such a car is still present.